In this episode, we're going to focus on the evolution of enterprise infrastructure topology, in particular on the shift away from the three-tier web app model that we're used to into a new paradigm of computing. We call this the shedding of tiers. Since the rise of web-based computing in the mid-90s, a three-tier model has been established for the topology of enterprise infrastructure, consisting of the presentation tier that handles the user experience, the business logic tier that handles and provides the functions that are used for processing within the context of a web application, and the data access tier, which handles the retrieval and updating of data resources on the back end. Typically, each of these tiers will feature its own processing platform, its own programming language, and its own associated technologies. Over time, because of the similarity in those technologies and processing platforms for the presentation and business logic tiers, there became a blurring of the lines, and so browser-based web applications that utilize this three-tier model, you would often find less of a distinct line between presentation and business logic and a much more clear-cut border point between the business logic tier and the back-end data resources. However, today, we're finding that the leading trends in enterprise IT, like mobile, big data, cloud computing, are actually driving changes into this model and, and, and shifting the tiers, as well as blurring other lines within the infrastructure. When people talk about big data, often the focus is on the amount and size of the data that's in play, but really the value proposition comes from how that data can be leveraged in real time, and analytics become a key function. Because of this, the data that is retrieved from the backend resources and often is stored in unstructured formats now need to be assembled and processed in real time. So there's really becoming a blurred line between what's happening in the business logic tier and what happens in the backend data resources. As a result, we see that the distinguished tiers between business processing and data access go away, and we really get this conglomerated tier of business and data services processing. At the same time, the overwhelming shift of client computing from desktop to mobile means that the platforms are changing on the client side. And so whereas the presentation may have been rendered or at least uh, distributed from a common tier in the server side, really the presentation moves to the client side and the technologies associated with that, either shared platform technologies like HTML5 and CSS, or platform-specific development that happens on iOS, Android, and other OSs means that the presentation moves very clearly away from the server side and into the client platform. The result of this is what I call the shedding of tiers, where you see a very clear distinction between what's happening on the client side, presenting the user experience, and what's happening on the service side to actually deliver the data that provides that user experience. And this brings us to the most important point associated with this episode, which is really around the API. Where does the API fit in this picture? Well, the API is actually the access point that connects those two pieces. From the client perspective, they want a vehicle to get the information and processing that's required to deliver their service without worrying about the implementation details of what's behind it. Really, they look at it as something delivered through the cloud. From the service perspective, this is an opportunity to reach out to all these different and new channels that can utilize this service point. And, and the API is the equalizer here that provides that access. As a result, it becomes vital that the API is presented in a way that is scalable, is consistent, is measurable, and especially secure. Another phenomenon in enterprise IT that is a topic of frequent discussion is the bring your own device movement, BYOD. This plays into the picture as well because what's happening now, not only are you getting a blurring of line between these processing tiers, but you're also getting a blurred line between what is a consumer device or a personal device in the mobile context and what is an actual enterprise or work task. So with that in mind, considering the fact that many of these client devices are going to be personally owned devices, it makes it even more critical that you provide security for this API tier. And in future episodes, we'll explore in more detail what types of functions and features are required to enable this API to play within this new topology that's prevailed.